What's up, everybody? Today, we are reacting to the Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4 Battle Pass trailer. I just reacted to the Nexus War launch trailer, saw that whole cinematic. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. And as I mentioned in that video, I am a huge fan of the writing of Donnie Cates, who is kind of writing this narrative in collaboration between Marvel and Fortnite. He's currently writing Thor and, and Venom, and he's also written Thanos Wins, which was like one of like just my favorite comic series ever. And so um, looking at this here, I can't believe that we're getting these heroes and they look so great in 3D, like Harold Thor and you got She-Hulk and Doctor Doom and Iron Man and Wolverine. And we saw like Iron or uh, Wolverine Peely and then Groot, which we didn't see that Rocket was going to be joining Groot, which is really awesome. Maybe like as a pet on your back, which is going to be pretty cool. And then Storm. And I just I I'm so excited. I think this is gonna be like my favorite season. I'm excited to see what other ways they can collaborate with Marvel or if it's just the skins. So let's go ahead and jump right into this reaction. I have not seen this trailer yet. My memories are broken. Oh yeah, Thor's but got I a know voice. I brought these mighty warriors here to defend our reality. It looks so good. High above this strange Whoa, dude, the helicarrier? Prepare to stand against him. Galactus. He's coming, dude. Power of worlds. This is awesome. You must remember who we are. Dude, I can't believe we're on a helicarrier. Iron Man. Dude, Iron Man had a had a freaking Tony Stark face there. Wolverine. And I am Groot. <laughs> That's awesome. War begins here. Dude, now, was was he like jumping up and doing like a special move there? Dude, he's got like his claws swiping. Powers and reclaim our memories. They're using all their powers. What? Together, we will defeat Unibeam. and save all reality. Dude. They looked like they were using their actual powers there and not just like guns and stuff. How does that work? I'm gonna have to dig into it all and actually play. Oh my word. Because yeah, like it looked like Thor was bringing down his hammer there and it looked like Iron Man was using a Unibeam. Is that like a specialty heroes mode? Or, and like Mystique was like changing into other characters maybe. And so like, is that an actual feature? Or is this just for like the sake of like the fun, you know, battle pass trailer? And kind of cool to have like a voice actor for Thor. Um, I'd love just like a Thor like animated series like in this style or something. It's so cool. Um, but then I think th definitely the end of the season event will be that Galactus comes and we have to fend him off. And I was wondering because we had the Fortilla last season, uh, like where Aquaman was and everyone else. And I was kind of curious like what the base of operations was going to be here. And there was the rumors that it was going to be the Avengers Tower. Um, which seemed like it was gonna be way too tall, but whoa, dude, Doctor Doom's got his own statue there and everything. So, and that, oh, dude, that's a Sentinel from from X Men. So it looks like there's lots of different points of interest that are gonna be um, integrated in from the Marvel universe, which is awesome. Um, but I love that the Helicarrier is way up there, and uh, maybe even bring brings back the the wind kind of turbine thing. Um, no, that's awesome. I can't believe it. I think this is gonna be my my favorite season. Yeah, and I already have Captain America, and I already own Deadpool and Star-Lord, so I'm ready to go. I never bought Black Widow, but um, I got some Marvel heroes ready to go. I got my Quinjet. Um, I'm super excited. I can't believe it that we have an actual Marvel collaboration. Let me know down in the comment section below. I have actually seen a lot of hate for this Marvel collaboration. People want more original characters from Fortnite and not just licensed characters like all the DC collaborations they've done and Star Wars and things like that. But personally, I'm a huge fan of it. I love that there's a video game out there where you can have Iron Man versus Batman and that you can have Wolverine versus, you know, the uh, Hopper from Stranger Things. I think it's like just the coolest thing in the world that there's just constant crossover going on. And so I personally really love it. But let me know down in the comment section below what you think of the collaboration, what you think of this season, and if you've jumped into it and played it and what you think so far. I'll talk to you guys down there. But until next time, bye.